Hey, what's going on, guys? Mendicu7B here. Welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. This is episode number 144 today for the 2006 Checker Auto Parts 500 at Phoenix. Well, at this point, we kind of won the championship. I'm not sure, you know, we have 469 points. Very nice. Uh, ahead of Dale Earnhardt Jr. All we have to do now is just finish out these three races. I think no matter what happens at this point, that we really cannot win. This, we cannot lose this championship. We can actually just go full balls to the wall, and yeah, really no pro, really no problems from here on out. I'm afraid. Um, not really much we can really say about that. We've got some final works to do here for the for the team's organization. Get one final work done. Preparing our final set of cars as an organization before we sign with a brand new team for next season. What? Who are we gonna? Who are we gonna choose? Well, I uh, might make a poll about that sometime. You might want to keep an eye out for that. We're gonna figure out where, who, which team we're gonna sign for, because I think we got some, we're gonna get some offers coming up really, really soon. So definitely want to keep an eye out for that, as our money is, is starting to become really, really dry. Like I told you, we just made it to the end of the season essentially, with eight races left to go in the wind tunnel. Probably for like the next team anyway. We're running the uh, YouTube channel colors, um, even though my eagles are kind of annoying me a little bit. So that's why I'm going to, you know, as motivation, we're going to not use this paint scheme anymore. We're going to run back with the uh, purple, white, and black, the YouTube channel colors. For probably the uh, last three races, if not, maybe. No, you know what? For the final race at Homestead, I'm going to make a poll about that as well. Don't worry. We're going to give you, p p p you know, screenshots of what image you, you all want me to, to see anyway of what paint scheme we should run because I know a lot of people really like some of the paint schemes this season. So I'm going to let it be on to you guys for what paint scheme we run at home in the next couple episodes. So do keep an eye out for it. And as always, we'll go right to the racetrack. All right, let's, let's finish out the season with a good qualifying run here around the desert. Yeah, I can't wait to see what I can come up with for the final storyline, but you guys are going to help me out with that part. You know, probably at around this time is where uh, Dale Jarrett, Ricky, well, I'm afraid, I don't think I could get Ricky Rudd because the prestige is a little too high. Um, uh, I would say, like, maybe Dale Jarrett, Sterling Marlin, Everham, Michael Waltrip Racing, who knows? We qualify 14th with Jeff Gordon on the pole. Craven and Waltrip have 5th and 3rd, respectively. Nice to see. All right. Let's get ourselves a win in the desert. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. What sets this track apart? Phoenix does make for some interesting racing because no two turns are the same. It's a wide track and pretty fast. Some even call it the world's fastest one mile oval. We should get our share of some exciting action out there on the track today. This is one of the best starting spots of the year for Ricky Craven. You're right, Joe, and what a welcome relief this must be. This team has been working hard all year, but it seems they can never catch a break in qualifying. This time, they're starting up front. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a string of top fives going. Well, his team is real excited about their success so far. In fact, I believe they'll have another top five race as long as he keeps his car out of trouble. The 56 car will start this race with the all-important points lead. What a great feeling that must be to have the points lead. Although you also have to think about the guys closing in behind you. One bad day at the track and you got to start climbing the ladder all over again. Alrighty, it's time to do the duel at the desert. 78 laps. It's a very short race at Phoenix, so I expect this race to go by really, really quickly. And speaking of, we're underway. Maybe make an outside pass, an easy outside pass to Hermie Sadler right, off, right out of the gate. We're still in third gear. We should probably shift the fourth gear. There we go. As everyone's two by two, two by two up ahead. 
Yeah, the, I like that when uh, Phoenix had, had like the grass and stuff that's down there. Like the dog legs, exciting, yes, but we know for a fact that uh, this championship for the uh, Cup, you know, the Truck Series, uh, Xfinity wasn't so bad. Uh, the Cup Series was okay, I suppose. But oh dear, I all right. Um, but yeah, the Truck Series though. Can we just talk about how pathetic the Truck Series Championship was this year? The how stupid things were. I mean, there's a reason why I don't like Carson Hosevar. And I'm, I'm, I, really, I don't really don't care about much about Corey Heim either, but I felt so bad for Corey. Because he at least dominated the year, and honestly, he I think he was a rightful champion. I mean, as much as I would like to see Grant Enfinger also win as well, that was a 60 apparently. Um, as much as I was I would like to see Grant Enfinger would have won the championship for GMS's final uh, race or whatnot, yeah, sadly to say, I was working with three wide here. Hold on, I'm not done. I'm sorry, I'm not done with my story yet. But we're actually going four pass, passing uh, one corner. That's incredible. I mean, that's just how we know. Like this, this uh, car is still like fantastic, of course. But enough about that, though. Give, give old, old Dale Jr. a little bit of a rub there. Surprisingly, not a ten. Oh, hold on, curb, curb, curb. As we'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let the, I'll let Marlon have that. Michael Waltrip's running in second right now. That's fantastic. Good for him. Um, yeah, I Ben. But seriously, Ben Rhodes. Do you really expect him to win the championship? Do you really think he, he's a deserving champion? Under the point system that we have now, unfortunately, yes. But that's just one of those cases where we need the Winston Cup point system back for all three series. If that race didn't solidify it, I don't I don't know what. And, but the problem is it won't, because I think it was uh, Steve O'Donnell that said that, or Steve Phelps. Probably I think it was, I think it was O'Donnell. Either way, the Steve is a clown for thinking that it's you know it's a good thing for the sport. He's a clown, and he always will be. So yeah, that's that's like that's that's my one thing, the first thing that came to my mind going into this race here at Phoenix was thank God there's no championship scenario where I basically people are going to be dumping one another. I mean, I get that they're AI, but still. Oh, all this talking, I didn't realize I was in second. With Jeff Gordon two seconds up ahead. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to take some time for us to uh, get get ourselves up there. I hope Mikey can still hold it on, hold it on third place, though. Oh, I messed up really bad that corner. Yeah, Tony Swerve's ready to pound my ass to the ground. I gotta be really careful. I gotta make sure he doesn't uh, get to, get to my back bumper. I mean, like I said, whatever happens now, we win a championship regardless. There's no way that, can, that anyone can catch me at this point. We're, we have won a championship by three full races, and that's incredible. But yeah, of course, I want to get some more wins before the uh, we close close out as an organization. Of course, I want to go. I actually want to. I don't think I've won in this paint scheme yet, in the YouTube channel colors yet. So it's been a long while. Let's see. I think I, I've won in the Flyers car. I, I, I won in the Phillies car. I won in the Eagles car. I don't think I've won in this car. I probably, ha I probably have. It's probably Richmond. I think. Maybe I figured that. So yeah, maybe getting another win with, with this car is good. Would be good. Yep. Now, now brought it down to one, one point one second there. Jeff Gordon's still holding his own. But he's got to make sure we get, you're able to have enough tire wear to get to the uh, end of the first run. Oh, we're starting to get into the slipstream range now. Got to make sure we're able to keep it keep it steady, keep it smooth. It does get a little bit twitchy at loose sometimes if I don't take the corners properly, and that's where I keep losing some time a little bit. So I'm trying to keep myself into a good rhythm here around this, around this place. Definitely for sure. Gotta go take after that 24. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, good save. <laughs> good save. You know, thankfully when the next season comes around, when we do a, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the theme. I'm gonna release it now. The next uh, season, no custom setups. Everything will be back to its default setting. And that's gonna be another limitation because that's how I've been able to get so many wins in the first place, I think. I mean, getting good performance out of a career mode, even like the very beginning, you would need a custom setup. Uh, this this next challenge, I'm gonna let the game decide for me what 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 setup is the game gonna give me, and I have no choice. And to make make proof of it in the future, when we get to the final season, um, we're going to 
Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I, I set the I set the uh, default settings back to where it's where it was before, like when you first started the game. And um, you know that way you know that it's it's on default. It's on default. You'll see the graphics change. That's how you know. And we'll just see if we can win so many races in the championship that way. Our handling's starting to go away a little bit, by the way. It's just starting to get a little bit too loose for my liking. I'm probably going to tighten this thing up just a tad to see how it, how it handles late, later on in the long run. That, that right rear w w worn out a lot quicker than the uh, left front that time. Still there. You know what they oh, excuse now. me, Jack Sprague. Still yeah, it is. It, the handling is way too loose now at this point. Okay. I'm going to try to try to push the right front to see if it can help, but... Right now, it's it's not helping out right now. It's super duper loose, and I don't remember how much uh, of rival points Tony Stewart has. I didn't check. Okay, there I go. Yeah, there I go. Okay, yeah, there it went. Yeah, it was it was uber loose. Definitely uber loose. I just lost control of it. Yeah, way too loose. Yep, coming to, coming to you, Sheldon. Coming to you. Let's go get ourselves fixed up here. Fittipaldi is a lap down, I think, now as well. Yeah, we're immediately going to change it to negative one. Hopefully, I'll tighten it up. It was handling fine, I think, in a little bit in the other uh, seasons, just not this one. This one's just uber loose. Now I can't wait for the... Uh, the last final season where all the tire cars are going to be friggin' plowing tight, because most of the default setups are very tight. Oh, okay. Jeff Burton's stuck. My car, my wheel is there. My car is gone. What are they changing? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> what are they doing? What, what is this? <laughs> my car is just slowly edging forward. Oh, there it is. There's my car now. What the heck? Um, back we go, I guess. <laughs> what was that? For some reason, we got guys that have yet to go down pit road. We get we start in first gear. I'm not sure why that is. And we're now back in P6. Yeah, I can feel this already. It's starting to feel a little bit tighter just because of that corner. Oh, alone. All right, now, maybe those, now I got to remember, I, got, I can't drive it in as, as uh, deep. Otherwise, it's going to plow up a little bit. Just like that. I'm here to win races, not make friends. I'm like Ross Chastain for crying out loud. My goodness. Yeah, good to, good to know. I am not very used to this handling. Oh, hello, Smoke. Oh, dear. So, yeah, we got a lot of logo rivals now. Mayfield somehow inside the top ten. Good to see there. From, 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 oh, three, three wide. Oh, my God. Okay, panic. Panicking a little bit. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I don't know what you want me to do about that. I made so many rivals from friggin' Martins. Oh, my God, this thing is so upset. This thing is so upset. Hi, Burton. You're, you're minus 40 from what I understand, so you're, you're not going to send me to the Shadow Realm because that's my job. This thing is evil. What the heck? I mean, I'm, I get it. I changed a little bit what the setup is actually doing, but... Oh, we're going to get pinned up here now? Is that where we're going to result to? Okay. All right. All right. Maybe I'll just have to drive it a little bit easier because apparently I'm driving it too hard. i got to be very, very careful around Mark, though. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, he thought about it. He thought. He's like, ah, go ahead. I can't stay mad at you, you old chap. I can't stay mad at you. I can't stay mad at you too, Mark. You're always a good guy. You're not like that. You only do it if I absolutely deserve it, i.e. Sonoma of last year. All right, let's claw our way back up there then. We got a Jimmy Johnson to pass. We're going to try to sail it into three. Hopefully it can stick this time. It is. Great. So now we're back up to P7. Well, now we're actually really close to the race leader, Jeff Gordon. I will say this, though, about the setup. It is a little lot tighter now. It's a lot more stable compared to what it was earlier. I just gotta not overdrive it into one and into, into like into like three. Be really careful getting back to the, on the gas. Like I'm starting to get a rhythm of how the car actually works, which is good. They still pull away on uh, turn 
turn one, though. So I have to make it all back in turn three because they always go super slow in there. And we just take fifth place away from what was originally the race leader, Jeff Gordon. Harvick's now the new leader. He's all the way up there, from what I understand. Stewart's a minus 66. Yeah, because of that whole caution of me self-spinning, it kind of shook up the entire field, which is really interesting how it's like that now. So now we got past Tony Stewart here. We gotta be really careful around him. I mean, you'll know how smoke gets in real life as well. We're gonna sail it in there, and we and we have we sailed it in per, to perfection. Yeah, I'm starting to understand how this car is starting to feel now. Yeah, the whole field needs to watch out now. We got Ryan in the right in front of us, Rocket Man himself. The, the best dodge in the field, sadly enough. Ford has been really quiet this year. I, I think only like a few wins, I think. So with, so with, you say with Dodge, it's just been all GM, Chevy and uh, Pontiac, really. Where the only Pontiac is me that keeps winning the races, and Chevrolet, you know, Chevrolet. As we take the th we take the bottom of the podium spot, I think we're getting closer to Harvick, actually. That's good. Look, that's good news for us. I do need to, I do, I do need to, uh, you know, repair some damage. We picked up a second within the last few laps, so yeah, I'm definitely understanding how this thing works now. It feels a lot better than what it did before. The other one was faster, but this one feels so much better. We're starting to gain on Dale Earnhardt Jr. here. We actually are getting close to his back bumper. We, if we're getting, if we get close enough here on the straightaway, we can try to send it a little bit here. Let's see. Uh, not quite. He's gonna be there. Next lap, though, we're here to definitely try to full send. He's got a, all four tires actually. I mean, the right, the right front and the uh, right, sorry, the right rear and the left front almost went worn at the exact same time. To me, that indicates the balance is pretty good. So yeah, Harvick's about a three-second margin ahead of us. He's got some lap traffic in front of us now. So we gotta, I think I gotta use some of these lap cars as a pick for Dale and Hart Jr. Or maybe not. We have a huge run down the straightaway. We're gonna send it down in there on his inside, and we clear Dale Jr., our championship rival. And we're gonna have a good power down on the exit with the diamond. Oh, we, I think we gained a, little, a lot of time with that one. Oh, we did. Oh, we did. We gained some time on that one. Oh, boy. Hold on to it now. Still a little loose. Still a tiny bit lo loose. We got Mike Bliss coming out of pits right now, along with Stan Barrett, running, I guess, respectable races for their own cars, I guess. Oh, boy. Don't want to run into them, though. We have a four-wheeled slide. Locking up the, locking up the uh, front tires. Starting to get a little tight, but also a little loose, depending on how I drive it, though. Gotta get around these lap cars pretty so pretty soon, though. You give Stan Barrett a little bit of a hello. How you doing, sir? Yeah, at some point, though, we gotta come down pit road. If we come down pit road within, like, the next few laps, that'd be great. I'm probably gonna run this thing until it's dry, so I can get the freshest tires possible. Besides, I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to lead a lap too. I mean, even just leading a lap would definitely solidify the championship. As Dale Hart Jr. is now back on their inside, us. Now the AI are very good at one and two, so I have to be. I'm gonna have to give him some room here. I'm gonna have to give him room. We're gonna try, we're gonna try to get that spot back at three and four. Like we, that's our sweet spot. That's our sweet spot around Phoenix. Three and four is our, is our, is our best spot. But he's gonna block us down the inside. But or does he? Give him a little nudge. Bump and run. Can't get mad at me at that one, Junior Nation. In that fact, I didn't even mess him up at all. He, he just took carry on his, his very way. No problem. As we're still three seconds back from Pe Kevin Harvick. Yeah, I, I, I got to be careful when uh, Kevin Harvick pits because if, if I'm losing with this amount of handling right now, I, I mean, I'm afraid to figure out, like, what is a one-lap advantage going to be for both of us. I mean, it shouldn't be that much, but still. If I'm losing time, I'm losing time. All right, our fuel's almost empty. Lap 55. We got to we gotta, we gotta head on in this lap. Right front, right front, as you can see, it's very worn. Got to come on in this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been on my rearview mirror all season long, Spotter. You don't, sorry, crew chief. You don't need to remind me every five seconds. As right, we got to go down our pit road here. Got to make sure we don't mess it up this time. All right, we're good. Got to repair some damage, though. Uh, Car's fine. I have no complaints about the car. It's just sometimes I just overdrive and it makes it loose. But it's not, like, wrecking loose as much as it, as it used to do. So balance is pretty good. It's got to make sure I just don't drive like an idiot. Oh, that's Dale Jarrett. Hi, Dale Jarrett. How you doing? B b coughing up in the pits there. All right, folks. Let's try to get ourselves a good stop here. One of our last few stops as an organization. we got two more races left to go. We already won the championship, but we can't, sl we can't slack off here, you know. But still got to win some more races. Oh, man. Not, don't do that. 
Oh, that's gonna cost us quite a bit, doesn't it? All right, pit road mistakes. Shake them off. You haven't made yet. It's better better to make them now because we already won the championship. But still. All right, let's see what we can do against uh, the people that are staying are staying out now. We're coming out 31st. Let's catch these guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Harvick now. So Harvick just basically uh, lost. He's gonna lose the lead here. Coming, I hopefully he loses the lead here. If he doesn't, then we're screwed. If Harvick doesn't lose the lead, we're screwed. I think he just, I think he just pulled it into a stall. So it's not a good sign for us. We have to sail past our, our good friend Jerry Nadu as well. I think, yeah, yeah, he already came in. I think so. He's, he's I think he's gonna be fine. All righty, let's see. How bad are we into uh, Harvick here? Because we're back inside the top ten now. I don't see Harvick, but I see Junior. But oh, Junior's gonna have a higher advantage on me now. He's just gonna come out of the pits. Oh man! All right, he's gonna hold on to this spot for 18 laps. No big deal. But I don't see Harvick anywhere. Yeah, I don't see Harvick anywhere. Uh, I think that might be him, like way up there. It's hard to tell, but I think that's him up there. Uh, who's the leader that just came in? Oh, it's Mark Martin. Oh, Jerry Newt is second. Oh, you know what? Now would be a good time for a caution. Now I'd be, I would be perfectly happy with the caution coming out. I would. I would. I think that, yeah, that there's Jerry right now. I think this kick crosses our finish line. Yeah, I would really love a caution to come out, like, right now. Yeah, give Jerry Nato the lead, man. Please. So we lost the position to Tony Stewart. I'm just happy to see that up there. Yeah, to, yeah Tony has gotten a spot on us for three seconds, as, like, last time. We lost, uh, we lost a little bit to uh, Harvick. We, we, we just nearly overcooked it in the uh, entry of one. Yeah, we're winning. I don't think we're going to win this race. I don't think we let a single lap this race either. Usually we're really good here at Phoenix. So that's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to lead a single lap here, folks. I think uh, Harvick's just too fast. It was Gordon early on. I think it was just Harvick the rest of the way. Steve Park, please. You're my, you're my man, but get out of my way, please. Yeah, he's got to go try to catch out their uh, smo old smoke right up there. I think he's a little annoyed with us from uh, earlier in the race, or a few races ago anyway, so we've got to be careful around him. Oh, what is this cluster cluck up here? Got so many lap cars right here. It, I mean, it should... Uh, Harvick got around all these guys. Yeah, he did. Now it's, now it's just us to, that's to deal with this crap. Uh, that's that's so annoying. But at least he has a little bit. But I don't think realistically, though, with a tire deficit on, on my part as well, I think Harvick's going to be the one that's going to win this race, folks. And meanwhile, I'm giving no Fs whatsoever at this point. So it's mano a mano. Me versus Stort for second with a minus 64 to rival. Three and a half seconds back from the leader. Mark Martin is running a really respectable fourth place finish. I am very happy to see Mark up there. Good job for him. Ryan Newman fifth. I don't know what happened to uh, Dale Hart Jr. I think he's throwing it in his towel as well. Jeff Gordon, who was leading this race, dominating this race at the very beginning, is nowhere to be seen. I, he might be like seventh. I don't know. I'm going to have to look. Hold on. So what's the standing? So we got them at the top, top five. Yeah, yeah, they're sixth and seventh respectively, just as I thought. So ninth and tenth is Jeff Burton and Matt Kenseth. Okay, so pretty typical. Pretty typical uh, legend difficulty stuff here. The running, running order is almost the same every time. I gotta do some challenge runs as well. Like, you know how Kamikaze Games has run, like, two different challenges on this game already? Like, on rookie difficulty or whatnot? Where he did one, I think... Oh, oh we just shunted Jeff... Yep, he is. I just slammed and run him. I didn't even bump and run. I slammed and run him for second place, and we're still three seconds back. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have the full send each of turn three just to maybe have a chance, which that probably won't happen. But but uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, I want to do one of those challenges like uh, Kamikaze Games did, where he did like the whole like sponsorless challenge for full season. Okay, technically I'm doing that now. Technically, I'm doing that now, but I mean, like, from the very, very beginning. And, um, and also, I think he did the one with the no upgrades challenge. Yeah, no car upgrade challenge. Yeah, definitely want to do that as well, for sure. I, I think that might be a little fun thing to do. Like, once this career mode's all said and done, I'll do one. Of, I'll do a couple of those videos. Yeah, I'll still make some NASCAR Thunder 04 content. Like, just not, you know, not a whole lot of it after the whole, whole career mode's over, though. 
but still fun nonetheless. All fun stuff. This channel is all about fun. This is fun. We're having fun. Remember that. It's not for me to get paid or anything. As I slam into the wall like an idiot. See? Like I said. Fun. This is fun. We're having fun. Right, Ashton Lewis? We're having fun. See? The Money 30 says he's that we're having fun. What's not fun is me not catching Harvick, because I think because I think at this point I'm gonna have to throw in the towel as well. Oh, we have a smoker down there. I have to be really careful around him as Ricky Rudd. Oh my goodness, I was have to sail down on the inside. Thank God I thank God I saw him. Yeah, thank God I saw uh, Ricky Rudd down there. I was gonna about to make a sailing move on these guys. Speaking of, here we go. If that doesn't get move of the race, I don't, I don't know what you want, what you guys see about that. Look at that. I just, I just feel four wheel drifted around two dodges that are lapped down, trying to try to catch up to the leader, which feebly what we're doing. Two laps to go in the race. I think this one's over, folks. That's okay. We're gonna claim our Winston Cup trophy at Homestead really soon. White flag is out already for Kevin Harvick as well as ourselves. Three and a half seconds back. Yeah, good one to Kevin Harvick. There's no unless he unless he blows up or something, which is highly unlikely. And even if he did, we, we would have to haul our ass and do like some sort of like bullshit Ross Chastain move just to try to catch up. Cut the lead down? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Kevin Harvick wins at Phoenix. He's always so good here in Phoenix. We end up in P2 today without even leading a single lap, I don't think. But hey, P2 at this track is still fun. That was a really good race. That was fun. I like fun races like this. Not many drivers led a lap in this race. Yeah, there weren't too many battles up front for position. Those guys who ran in the top five were pretty dominant all race long. The 56 car has a new friend who he can team up with on the racetrack. Yeah, it's good to see drivers Friend. work together out there, even when they aren't teammates. We hope you enjoyed today's race as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, this is Joe Moore and Barney Hall signing off. So out of all that being said and done, it was Kevin Harvick. Happy Harvick, who is always, honestly, in real life as well. He's the king of the desert here at Phoenix. So no surprise there that he won this race here today in this race. I mean, what? <laughs> Wow, for the first time in a while, I think we haven't led a single lap in this in like a race. Besides, like, I think like Martins. Okay, that's a, actually that's a lie. It's probably Martinsville as well. But the point is, like, this was a track that we won at last year. Year I think, and uh, we just didn't even have a chance. We didn't even have anything for Gordon or Harvick or nothing towards like the very end there. Yeah, the slow stop helped it hurt us a little bit, but that's really shouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, congrats to Harvick for being just a dominant good sport there up there. She's certainly happy. And of course, Kevin Harvick, your winner today. So as we take a look at the race r results here today, we got Kevin Harvick, that who completely did a <laughs> made mincemeat of everybody else in the entire field after that first caution that uh, we caused. Ourselves second, Stuart third, Mark Mart with a fortieth to fourth. My God, Mark, chill. At a short race like this, fortieth to fourth. Wow. That is commendable. Well done, sir. Ryan Newman, fifth. Earnhardt, sixth. Uh, Jeff Gordon from Poles finishes seventh. Johnson finishes eighth. Jeff Burton, ninth. And Bobby the Bonnie finishes in tenth place as we have the rest of the field going down. Michael Walter kind of put on a disappointing race, not going to lie. Well, these two finished 18th and 19th, so there goes any hope of me having them retire. And everybody else seems to be finishing normal, I suppose. With uh, Ricky Rudd in 40 seconds because of a blown uh, engine and Dale Jarrett who blew up with I guess that was the person that went and pits the entire time oh well in case you weren't sure of now well you're definitely sure now we definitely clinched a title <laughs> two races ago so it's just the way it is we're champions just like I said in the last episode got two more races to go for this organization before we join another one for the last season anyway anyway the poll will be some sometime after uh you know, this episode's unlocked. We're going to give you the, the options here of what's going to probably happen anyway. And, uh, yeah. In case you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Of course, once again, we're getting closer and closer to that 500 sub mark for that Daytona 500 live stream of any NASCAR game of your choosing. 
So as always, we'll see you guys in the next one once we go to Rockingham. See you guys then.